6 o'clock. We've been covering breaking news here from WCCO all night. A curfew just lifting in Minneapolis. But the damage in the city already done. The city again waking up to destruction, this time in the heart of downtown. Live pictures outside the Target headquarters where windows are smashed. Dozens of buildings with a similar scene. Many stores, liquor stores, drug stores looted. Uh, the damage happening all throughout uh, Nicolet Mall, Nicolet Avenue, and right now as workers starting to board up some of the windows throughout the city. Pictures of a fire breaking out at Brit's Pub around 1130 last night. A scary scene there. The flames as the tables inside go up. It appears that the fire, although it was raging at first, was contained to the front room. The extent of the damage becoming more clear as light starts to blanket downtown Minneapolis. This violence, all of it after police say a crowd mistook a suicide for a police sh shooting. Uh, this right in front of the downtown target. That's where police say they were approaching a murder suspect when he turned the gun on himself. Minneapolis police in the city quick to release this video because the rumors had started to spread. But even hours later, police we talked with on the street had their doubts, despite the fact that that video uh, shows clearly what happened. Christian Cordero, live, uh, beginning our team coverage along Nicolet Mall this morning. Christian. Jason, we just showed you right target HQ right behind me. We were here, what, about an hour ago when all the glass was still on the ground. You could hear the glass shattering and falling every time the wind, the breeze broke. And then um, now you see the crew that arrived uh, within the past half hour, I would think, to board these up. This is actually the same crew that boarded Target up downtown in May. They're back again to do it again. Um, and so Target HQ, for those of you who know, right, there, this is not directly connected to the Target store. The Target store is a, another board walk away um, that we saw some people leading through. I should say that from the ground level, there are no broken windows through there, so I'm not exactly sure how they got into that Target flagship store. But this is the HQ. There are eight windows that are smashed in. Crews out here to clean up this morning, and it is surrounded by several other businesses who are waking up to the same exact thing. We saw crews boarding up at uh, Foot Locker just two blocks away from us right now. Um, and then we have seen, of course, that uh, Brit's Pub and Caribou just a couple blocks away, Those fire that fire that was started at Brit's Pub and then the windows that were smashed in both there and at Caribou. Um, Jason, interesting to know, just walking up and down Nicolette Mall, you know, you see a lot of people, um, or I should say a significant number of people. It's not a crowd by any means. And then you, we haven't really seen any police presence other than those that are just kind of uh, guarding the stores that are waiting for their boards to arrive. We saw that near uh, Foot Locker. Other than that, it's pretty quiet downtown right now um, as, you know, the sun is starting to rise over here in Minneapolis. Okay, curfew ending just about three minutes ago, a citywide curfew put in by Minneapolis. Christian, thank you. We do want to give you a sense of some of the other damage we've seen downtown. Uh, we showed you Brits right next door is a caribou coffee and bagels and uh, the windows shattered all throughout that building. The Lotus Restaurant, which is on Nicolet Avenue, the Eat Street part of downtown. Uh, that has quite a bit of damage as well. CVS on Franklin and Nicollet just absolutely rampaged and destroyed. The downtown Lunds and Byerly's liquor store, uh, the windows smashed, quite a bit of liquor stolen from inside. The grocery store itself was not damaged. Inside the downtown Target, this is really where we first got a sense of the chaos that was erupting in downtown around 6, 7 o'clock. This video from Mike Carbo. Uh, shows uh, absolute free-for-all as people going inside the target, uh, almost gleefully kicking, uh, throwing, destroying, stealing. Mike Carbo said he was uh, leaving work and just went to pick up a few things at Target and people just destroying the store there. Now let's go back to what police say sparked all of this. Uh, obviously quite a bit of racial unrest in the city after what happened to George Floyd. But last night started with a murder investigation downtown yesterday afternoon. We take you to Ramp A near Target Center at Target Field. Police say a man shot and killed somebody in that parking ramp. And then the investigation was on. They say the gunman and a woman took off. Police say they did spot that man a few hours later on 8th and Nicollet, right in front of the Target store. When officers approached him, he turned his gun on himself and took his own life. 
the city releasing video of it to try to tell the true story and counteract the rumors that were spreading. Governor Walls activated the Minnesota National Guard to help quell the unrest. It is unclear how many troops actually showed up, uh, but there were troops in downtown Minneapolis. Aaron Hassan said alive this morning with a look at more damage as well as some insight as to what the leadership did. Tell us where you are and what's going on first, Aaron. Yeah, Jason, and sorry, the, the crews behind me are just getting started here, but we're by Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, which is also the Forum 920 building. So 922nd Avenue South, Sam is going to show you. Uh, they're starting to board up. Just the sound of scooping up that shattered glass is, is something that we're going to hear a lot uh, throughout the downtown area this morning. But they're kind of picking in the windows that are sort of half shattered and sweeping things up. Back to last night, though, uh, we heard from Governor Tim Walls late last night at the state capitol. He says this is an emotional time after what happened in Kenosha, Wisconsin, and then, of course, here with George Floyd. And I just want to be very clear. The pain that people are feeling is real. The situation that was sparked again and, and reminds all of us of that, watching that eight and a half minutes of that, um, those are real. Those are real emotions that are out there. But to come together and fix those issues, they're not going to be fixed with violence or looting target. Now, the governor's peacetime emergency declaration uh, led him to mobilize the National Guard, including a military police unit. Minnesota State Patrol is in Minneapolis as well to help. Around 150 troops were brought in uh, to assist Minneapolis police with crowd dispersal, prevention of uh, looting, and making arrests. Now, in response to the unrest in Minneapolis, Mayor Jacob Fry also declared a state of emergency. What our city needs right now is healing. We do not need more destruction. We do not need property damage. That is unacceptable in every way, shape, and form. And I want to be very clear, uh, it will not be tolerated. And as we've mentioned a couple of times, Jason, the curfew now expired. Um, we can step over a little bit this way to show you there are buses moving downtown along 2nd Avenue here. We've seen quite a few come through now as people make their way to work, as people sort of move on with their day, even though it was a super busy night. Uh, we are seeing people starting to come out and make their way to start uh, to start their day, really have no other choice, right? Yeah, indeed. All right, Aaron Hassan's at uh, live in downtown Minneapolis. Thanks, Aaron. Our team